All right, hello everyone. Today I'm going to make a how to use encounter on Katakuri. He came out yesterday for the uh, Valentine's update. So yeah, um, Katakuri, he's really, really good. He has a lot of good range skills, a lot of combo extenders too. He's just an overall and like uh, all good character. The only, th the only thing I'm saying that he's kind of lacking in is ultimate, but I'll talk about that more later. All right, let's get into his skills. Alright, Trident, uh, Trident Drill is probably Katakuri's worst skill. It doesn't break super or hyper armor, but the barrage does guard break at the end of it though, so that's pretty good. You can't combo extend with this skill, so, so like the best times to use this skill are either to catch someone with your super armor so you can hit them, or you can also use it to wall bang as well. You can also use it to uh, you know, end the combo as well. And the move is really slow though, so you're kind of stuck in place, so it is punishable, so look out for that. Um, Mochi Cascade is probably one of Katakuri's best skills. It's similar to Rimuru's Black Lightning skill, except that it doesn't break super armor like his. The move got recently nerfed though, like today, so it's slower. You can easily use the move in either like neutral to combo extend with it, or you can just use it to combo extend in general. I'll show some clips right now. Um, to counter this move, like, he does like a specific animation or if he throws his hand down. You can, also, like, you can also see like the Mochi particles, so make sure to look out for those. But other than that, this move is really good for combo extending and using a neutral to catch your opponent and then yeah there's not too much to say about bird line mochi it's a grab that goes through block but it doesn't go through super armor like jotaro's it also bounces them in the air after so you can combo extend with it but i'm pretty sure that after you use it on somebody it takes your evasive bar but uh don't quote me on that but yeah it's literally just a normal grab on to the next skill Um, Burning Mochi is a solid projectile. The move gives you super armor and it also breaks block and super armor as well. The hitbox isn't nearly as fucking retarded as Naruto's bullshit. Like, oh my fucking god. So it's a lot harder to hit from a um, range. From, like, you know, from a range. The easiest way to hit this skill is go, like, right in front of their uh, fucking face and shoot it right at them. It also does, like, 16 damage, so it's pretty good overall. Alright, I kind of forgot to grab some clips, uh, but uh, I'm sure you guys will be fine. This move breaks super uh, super armor and block. It, it also it also is parryable, so watch out for that. You can combo extend with this move, but it honestly depends how close you are to the opponent, because sometimes it just sends them in, in like a random direction, and if you use it from too far, you can't combo extend with it. Also, if you're too close with this move sometimes, you can kind of like drop it, and it won't like hit them. I'll show a clip now, that's the one clip that I got. I mean, overall, it's a decent combo extender, and does some decent damage. Okay, now that I've um, shown all of his skills, I'm gonna get into some combos that you guys can use. So peep this shit real quick. Alright, for his awakening, I'm gonna talk about it like all at once. Um the first thing we should probably talk about his awakening is um his his M1s. His M1s turn to like little like mochi hockey punches, which um give you like a lot of extra range. And it also does guard also the last one does guard break, so that is really powerful. His first move is like a uh, future sight, which is um it's kind of bad. It teleports you behind you if they're m one If it's a skill, I'm pretty sure it doesn't even teleport you behind them. It just, you know, gives you a singular iframe. So that's pretty bad. His um next one is like Mochi Eruption. It breaks super armor and does break block and does like a lot of damage. Basically a bunch of like mochi like comes from the ground and you know erupts everywhere. 
it's like you know a big explosion it's all right it's a good skill his next moves um mochi full side he goes up in the air and like, he punches them like a bunch of times you can, you can use the move to easily combo extend the best way to use it is like hit like in the up tilt combo which is ultimate which is um that bulldozer move basically like everyone that's near you it also does break super and hyper armor by the way but everyone that's near you gets sucked in and then you know, it does the cutscene, which is honestly pretty cool, and it does about like 60 damage. Also, another thing about his awakening is I don't know if it's just for Katakuri, but it does not last long. It only lasts for, like at least like 90 seconds, bro, maybe even less, because god damn, your mode runs out fast. So try and like get as much damage off as possible, because you're, you're only gonna get at least like one stock off of Katakuri's awakening. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention uh, Mochi Chestnut. Moshi Chestnut is kind of like Beezlebub from uh, Rimaru, which basically is just like, you know, it's like a homing projectile and it constantly hits them. These little like sharp pointy things. Alright, that's about it for Katakuri skills. Now let's get into some 1v1s.
のバカを笑うたきゃ俺も一緒に笑えスタープラッシュザワールドフォーチング